What's up guys, it's Norkel here, and today we're going to be unboxing the new HD0 FPV monitor. Uh, this thing has a built-in receiver and built-in DVR, which can do the full resolution of HD0. Uh, Max is out at 60Hz, unfortunately, but that's still pretty good. Uh, it cannot play back, but you can record everything and watch it back on your laptop. I think that's good enough. So this thing is fresh. I've never opened it before, never used it. Taking off the plastic wrap. Let's get this box open. Yeah, get it nice and centered. So inside, first we're going to see this piece of foam. And then there's this big piece of paper, which at first just looks like random garbage. But actually, when you take it out and you flip it around, it's a manual. So you get all the important information on the back of this. You can pause here if you want to read that. But I'm going to put it off to the side. We get these nice stickers in here, as well as a screen protector. I recommend you kind of just slap this on because you're going to get bubbles in it no matter what. It's pretty hard to get it on. Uh, and then, speaking of difficult, this is this is a real challenge to, to get out of this foam, but we'll get it out in a second. So here we have it. Uh, here's the screen itself. And on the back we have our battery strap holders. On the bottom is a little tripod mount. And on the side we have HDMI out, USB-C, and an SD card slot for the DVR. On the front we have all these four tactile little buttons. These are what you're going to use to control the screen. And on the side we have the on off switch, the video out port, and an XT30 as well as a DC jack which is compatible with any of your uh, Fat Shark or HD0 cables that you might already have. So yeah, um, you're going to have a little bit of a look at the battery straps that are included. These work great with the 3S which can just be easily strapped onto the back of it. Uh, I recommend getting a little bit of a shorter cable, but I'm going to be using my goggle cable with this thing. Uh, let's get it plugged in here, and let's take a look at the screen powered up. Uh, the OSD is displayed just fine, and the quality looks pretty good. So let's, uh, let's take a closer look here. You can see there's not much breakup. The quad's right next to it, so that's to be expected. Uh, but there's no weird artifacting. Yep, looks good. <laughs> Big thumbs up for me. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's check out some DVR. All right, so first impressions on the DVR. The quality looks great. I don't really see any noticeable difference in quality between the HD Zero goggle and the screen. Uh, what I do notice is there's a little bit more breakup than in the goggle, but What's strange to me is as I get farther away from the house, it doesn't really proportionally get worse. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but you can see I'm flying around here and it's picking up my signal just fine from inside the house. I'm sure it would be much, much better if I was sitting outside, but I'm just sitting in my house and flying around my little backyard area. And I think this is perfect for, you know, sitting at a race and watching other pilots fly. If you want to work on your quads on the bench and you don't want to put your goggles on your face every five seconds when you're checking your video, this is also fantastic for that. It's just super convenient to have this little screen around. And I know from now on every race I go to, I'll be bringing this thing. You can see uh, right up there, kind of lost video, but you know, I'm inside the house. You can't really give it the full credit it deserves for that. Uh, almost a tree. Uh-oh. Well, yep, that concludes our test flight. Thanks for watching.